Right now at noon on this Friday afternoon, surveillance cameras capture an Uber driver being chased after his car in West Philadelphia after he was shot and now the search is on for the gunman. Today is Friday, April 29th. Welcome to CBS3, Albertus News and Noon, now streaming live on CBS News Philly. My name is William Jr. Let's get our news started off right off with my favorite uncle named Matt Petrillo live outside Spring Garden here in Philadelphia. Good afternoon to you, Uncle Matt. This gun violence needs to go. Take it away with what you got. Wow, that's downright scary to see some things like that. Thank you, Uncle Matt, with the breaking development here this noon, and I appreciate that. Now to the development story. A homicide investigation got underway in Newtown Township, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. This is Chopper 3 over the scene on David Drive, where police were called to a home just before 5 o'clock this morning for a man who was said to be in cardiac arrest. As officers arrived, they found a 50-year-old man dead on the living room floor with a laceration to his neck. Nobody was critically injured or hurt at that time. Now to the latest on the war in Ukraine. A former U.S. Marine got killed. His name is 22-year-old Willie Joseph Cancel. He was killed on Monday as he works for a military contracting company. It's the first known American death in the war. Meanwhile, there was an intense attack on the state capital of Kiev in Ukraine, and there's certain resistance in Mariupol, where hundreds of soldiers and civilians are still wounded to this very day. They're fighting back against Russian offenses right there. People need your support in Washington, D.C., despite the fact that President Biden has got something on his hands, like $33 billion for the entire country. Shifting gears and looking live at Logan Square, you can see the fountain still up and running. That means the temperatures are going up. It's still breezy, but with a less humidity, not showing any signs of fire threats or anything else. Meteorologist Larissa Abreu has it all for you in her first check on the forecast. Larissa, my sister, all dressed in my brother Christopher's favorite color of orange. Take it away. Sunday. 
Oh dear, rain chances on Sunday? Holy cheesesteaks. Always listen to my Uncle Jim and Aunt Janelle's advice, y'all. Thank you, Larissa. And now let's go over to my Aunt Tammy Sousa live at the Penn Relays at Franklin Field. Hi, Aunt Tammy. Wow, it looks like you're having fun out there. Have fun at the Penn Relays there. And thank you so much for that awesome weather report there, Aunt Tammy. You can see the Penn Relays once again for the last time on this weekend, Saturday, the 30th of April, 2022. The last time I was at the Penn Relays was way back in 2014, and I was with my Furness High School classmates in room 101. Those were the good old days, huh? We're coming right back with more of our top stories and headlines. Stay with us. You're watching CBS3 Eyewitness News at Noon with me.